Good morning. All right. I'm Chloe Morris. I am John Morris and Kim Morris's daughter. Um, so I shared this story with the young adults group a couple weeks ago, and when I did that, I did not expect to be up here this morning, but, you know, things happen funny sometimes. So I'm going to ask that you imagine something for me with a moment, so bear with me. So you're on the road, and somebody cuts you off, or you accidentally cut somebody off, and they're, somebody's angry. They're upset about it, right? Um, and there's just some obvious road rage happening. Usually what we typically do at first is we get irritated or annoyed or frustrated, something happens. And then if you're anything like my family, you start to say, oh, we don't know what they're going through. Um, maybe they're having a bad day. Maybe they're on their way to the hospital. Something's gone wrong. And on the surface, that sounds and looks okay. But when you look deeper into it, you kind of figure out that you're finding an excuse to extend grace to that person. And you didn't do it just because they didn't deserve it, but you had to find a reason in your mind and in your heart to give them that forgiveness. Um, so that's obviously a very small example of that, but I have a bigger example that happened in my life recently. So I had a friend for several years, and we were really, really close, like best friends, inseparable. And a few things just happened for a long time, and we had to, or I had to break our friendship off, and I kind of just had to cut ties with her and not be super close with her anymore. Um, and obviously when something like that happens, it's very emotional, and there's a lot of hurt feelings, and, um, you know, it's just not, <laughs> there's a lot of hurt feelings and some unforgiveness. And what I didn't realize is that up until a couple weeks ago, I still hadn't fully forgiven her for a lot of the things that had happened. And um, the reason I realized that is because I found out that she had been hospitalized for a week for mental illness problems, and then she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. And when I found that out, my initial reaction was just shock and kind of like, wow. <laughs> No one really expected that, but the more I thought about it, the more I was like, oh, that makes sense why she did certain things. That makes sense why she reacted to certain things the way she did. And I realized that I was starting to use this bipolar disorder as my reason to forgive her for some things. And that's when the spirit kind of slapped me in the face. It was like, girl, why, why haven't you already forgiven her? No, she doesn't necessarily deserve it, but neither did you. And so it was kind of just a rude awakening, but obviously a needed one. Um, so I'm going to read a portion from Matthew 5. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be sons of your father who is in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? You, therefore, must be perfect, as your heavenly Father is perfect. And I think that pretty much sums it up, that we are to be like God and extend grace to others, even if they don't deserve it, because that's exactly what we got on such a bigger scale that we can't even comprehend. So... Let's go forth today, this week, and forever, praising and thanking Jesus for what he did on the cross for us and our sins, and that he just forgave us for so much that we didn't deserve. Um, just have a great day, guys. Happy Resurrection Day. Happy Easter.